Okay, so let me do this video as fast as possible and explain how to convert field or sensor view between field of view, going between games, and even in just changing if you want to change your field of view. So here I am playing stretched resolution just for the because it's what I like to play, but this does work differently in different scenarios. You will see that while I'm running a certain sensitivity, this is how much I do 360. If I lower my field of view, let's just go to 90 arbitrarily, my sensitivity stays the same in terms of 360, but it feels much, much higher when moving around because the field of view, since things are much more zoomed in, it will feel higher. So this is why you need to change your sensitivity based off of your field of view. And I will show the calculation on basically how to do that. So right here, let me go to my, this is the special Apex Legends calculator. I can leave the, or I'll leave the link in the description. So let's just say I am running a DPI of 800. And in order to find this field of view multiplier, this depends on what you're playing in game. Now I want to use an example of ASUS sensitivity because there is something that he mentioned before, but I will go into this real quick. So let's say he's playing at 110 field, which he is playing at 110 field of view in game. Or my point is that ASU does this without realizing it, but this is the actual calculation of how to do it. So this is what you want to put into this calculator, whatever your apex uh, field of view is divided by 70. That's just arbitrary. And then your multiplier of 1.8. So what you'll realize here is that your sensitivity is 1.8. And with 800 dpi, this means that your 360 is just at around 29 centimeters, just under. And your horizontal field of view, which is what matters here, is at 124.6. The Apex Legends uses a 4x3 uh, or 4x3 uh, horizontal field of view. So if you are playing at 100 or if you're playing at a resolution of uh, 4x3, like such, it will be 110 field of view. Exactly. But people don't play with that in Apex for the most part. So let's just go to your native, and that will be, oh, sorry, that will be this horizontal field of view with this sensitivity. So then what you'll realize here is after doing these calculations that my 1x is actually lower than an actual 1 is to 1. So my case that I want to bring up is that I was watching Asu one time, and he mentioned that his, his sensitivity felt low, but he didn't want to change it. But that was only after aiming down sights, because it actually was low, technically. But not really, because he has been playing Valorant, obviously. He has come back to Apex a little bit lately, but of course he's going to go back to Valorant. And if you do this calculation that I will show here, you will be able to convert your sensitivity very easily without having to worry about changing sensitivity way too much. So then, of course, have whatever sensitivity you're using, but your new sense equals sense multiplied by bracket old old fov divided by or sorry new fov divided by old fov okay so then make sure you're using the correct field of view multipliers and the same sensitivity differences so do not if you're playing valorant i will use valorant for this example uh, you will need to convert your Valorant sensitivity in order to do that. You can find ways to do it online, but there's an easy way to do it, which I will show really quick. But for instance, Valorant field of view, you just have to figure it out. It is always capped at 103 horizontal field of view. Okay. And if you're playing at Apex at max, this is changeable. But let's say for this purpose that you're playing at max with this regular resolution, it is not stretched. It is 124 degrees point, 124.6 degrees at hip fire. Okay. So then let's take that 103 from Valorant being your new field of view. If you're converting to Valorant, divide that by your old field of view from Apex at 110. This is the equivalent at 110 max without stretching. That is this number right here. This is your ratio, okay? So then you take your sensitivity of in Apex 1.8 and you get this number which is almost 1.5, it's 1.49 effectively. Okay, so then this is your new Valorant sensitivity if you convert from, um, if you convert including field of view directly. And what you realize here is that not only is this field of view higher 
which will mean it's it feels slower, but also that your sensitivity is actually lower because Apex does change the sensitivity based off of your optic. You can of course change this and this changes with field of view. So if I'm to go to 1.5, which would be playing at 105 field of view actually, this sensitivity has changed as you can see here. Uh, if I undo that, this actually does physically change. So the lower your field of view, the closer these two numbers will get but this is how it works in this game. So this is why this calculator is quite useful. So then you'll realize that this number should be quite a bit higher if you're gonna use the actual ratio of the two field of views like I'm using here. But if you know, ASU plays with a 0 0.447 in Valorant. So this new sense should be 1.49 roughly, um, 1.8, by 103 divided by 124.6, which is roughly correct. And if you convert this, 0.9 divided by the conversion for Valorant is 3.181818, or multiply by that, this should roughly equal 0 0.47. This is being his sensitivity and how he converted himself. As you can see, this calculation should be roughly correct. And this is what he did arbitrarily. He didn't actually go out of his way to do this calculation, but if you find this, 1818118, it is actually very close. If I do actually 1.49 divided by 0, 3.181818, uh, it's going to be almost 0 0.47. So he convert, he chose the sensitivity, almost actually choosing the exact same from what he was playing in Apex. Um, sorry about that. Which is quite, well, it's, it's quite remarkable that he was able to do that without actually actively knowing the calculation, but it's what, something that I came up with myself. So then, theoretically, this number should be higher, but, you know, this is... If you want to convert with this number, you can do that as well, but you just have to account for these field of view numbers. But as you can see, that would be your sensitivity. So that's pretty much this way of calculating. Of course, this is different between games. This is different for what your sensitivity is. For instance, my sensitivity right now is 900 and 1.1. And if I want to choose the, if I want to equate the sensitivity, you just play around with these numbers here. Uh, if at max field view, of course, this will change, but roughly this would be the same ratio. If you're doing 1.18 at max field view with no stretching, if you do stretch like I do actually, it is different. So you have to account for that. This would actually be 1.15 roughly to have the same ratio because it does change. Okay, hold up. <laughs> um, so then if I want to convert my sensitivity, let's say I do want to play with my hip fire sense, but I play at a 1.1 or 1.1x because this is what I like. If I'm practicing in a game, if I say I want to practice with my hip fire sense just because I will go for 119.5 because that is the horizontal when you stretch, but you can't stretch in Valorant. So I will go 103 divided by 119.5 is equal to that multiplied by 1.1 is that without converting in Valorant divided by 3.181818181818. Oops. And that would be my Valorant sense. So there you have it. That is just for Valorant. You of course have different different calculations for different things, but that's just how to do sensitivity calculations with field of view. So yeah.